Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Sue, and welcome back to Wolf and Rabbit. Previously, we did some science to make tobacco. Yes. All right, let's do it. it must be the mortar and pestle. Let's get to work. First, we put the ingredients I have in place. The blue mushrooms. You really want me to select everything. Tentacles are still twisting. Crumble the corals. Go the materials are ready. Start it. Just to smash as hard as I can. Press the confirm button to see you from the time limit. Well, I was tight timing. I made it. The color is much better than before. Oh, the essential oils. Almost forgot about. It. Ah, uh, that's the smell diffusing the house, but it's much stronger. I should find a bag to hold these. Bag. Should be a fine paper bag you'll make. We just took a research notes and turned into a paper bag? What? Now you are. More so tobaccos. Banking up. Special tobacco. Yeah, I'm will be satisfied with it. Hopefully this is not some kind of weird trap. You've given me the most powerful tobacco in the world. Now I will take over. Well, I just passed through you. Ooh, that's weird. Have you finished? For certain. Think about who is doing it. Here you are. Wait. Is this bag... My essays? What? Screw it, I'm dead. I don't have to care. Anyway, just light them for me by the burner. It's in the reception room. The reception room? The reception room is right here, where we first met. Okay, why well, you just give me a purpose for that time? You little brat ruined my antique closet while I was not able to beat you. So sorry about that. I can tell from your cloth which belongs to the institution, so... You escaped from the Youth Regi Education Center, didn't you? So you know that place. I used to pay some visits here. Well, you don't look that bad. There's no way to trust you at once, after all. That's deceptive. I don't think I need any re-education. It seems that they failed. Well, how did you get in there? When I came to a nearby city with my stomach buzzing, a boy holding some grass reached down and asked me if I'd like to take a bite, so I took a bite. A bite? Yeah, I took a small bite, and he cried loudly. A group of people came and caught me. I was unlocked into that prison. Wait, you put the hand of a child in how to do food? Indeed. It tasted really good. I had a lot of meat when I was young. I've been away from them for so many years. Just a small bite. He's so stingy. You are more dangerous than I thought. It's okay to be carnivorous, but not to be fed on others. Wait a moment. Did you come here wanting to eat Marcia? She does look delicious, but no, I wasn't really thinking about eating her. He totally did. They forced me to all kinds of classes every day. Food there doesn't have any taste. That's painful. I won't be there anymore, so I will not bite. I've been living alone since my mother passed away. I mean, all I need to do is live alone. I just recall having done something annoying after being adopted. Sure enough, I'm not a good boy. That must be a difficult experience. You should have become a great child, if well educated. Okay, I'm done with this. Let me light the tobacco for you. Put some tobacco leaves. Now I just need to light them with a match. Do I have a match? Yes, I do. Ignite the tobacco? Yes.
Ah, a scent. It's kind of similar to the smell in the room of the chompers. But this one is not so bad. Ah, that's it. It's been days since my last sip. It was so good being able to enjoy it even as a ghost. Sip? Oh! It's like a hookah. I just realized that now. The false key's right under the burner. Didn't you notice it? Dang. Uh, it's so dusty. I didn't expect it to be here. I couldn't have played you if you did. Don't be so torturous. So I can leave now. I hate to admit that I can't do anything more. Maybe I've been too selfish to have you here to help my child. That kid is strong-minded. She will be able to accept all these in days, I guess. If you were just a passerby, after all, you don't have to get yourself involved. You can leave whenever you please. It was a really long day. Involving plants. Like from that one movie. I don't have much to give you. See, so may I just keep these tobacco? Here, take some tobacco, man. It's my final gift as a ghost. It's the good stuff. Marcia hates me smoking them. We have your quarrel to fort. You don't know about their price in black market is pretty good. Um, well, thank you. So I'm leaving then. Good luck, dull boy. I'm not dull. See you later, aunt. Not going to see you again, though. That's true. I nearly forgot. The smell. Eh, Marcia. What's in your hands? Grandma's files. About this, the aunt said okay, so... Grandma's most valued. Marcia, listen carefully. Unforgivable. Unforgivable! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'll have you pay for that. Use a key swiftly. Are you getting through doors, you corporal being? Well, well. I really didn't expect us to such a cute rabbit going mad. Whatever. None of my business. I was just passing by, that's it. Time to go. But then we forgot we ever came here. Then we sold it back on the black market, making some extra side cash. Without any interest in what had happened, the wolf managed to escape from the mad rabbit. And escape. That's the practical ending right there. It's just like, you know what, none of this evolves me, I'm just out of here. I don't need to get involved in this. Who cares about one rabbit? The recipe of ghost being referred to the blood from the spirit. Can be the liquid from this flower. Says so it's dying, it should help finish its pain. It became a pool of sl shimmering liquid. At least I have the blood of the spirit now. Vines wrapped around the door lock. Lock is filled with plants. No wonder it can be open from the outside. Feels like it's hard to tear off. Luckily, I have a knife. Knife. The Rafe, this house, is more than I thought. Let's prepare the ghost being quickly. Solve these troubles and escape. The most important thing is to live. I who has escaped from institutions shall never blank. Spooky. Wow, I've never actually been caught by you before. So you actually do give me a game over. Oh, oh god. Looks like I can have the ghost pain soon. Ooh, 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 
Ooh-wee. That was rough. Deep well water, salt, blood from the spirit, blood from the innocent. Yo, where did you sell that? You found some salt. I'm not sure how much I do I need. So just a handful of the glass, I guess. I feel like I can have the ghost paint soon. Body of a black cat, blood of an innocent. I wonder if the blood of the cat can be the blood from the innocent. Now all the ingredients are here. I wonder if it could would work. The mixed liquid in the bottle is becoming clear gradually. So it works. Alright, spirit. I got the ghost banes. You ready? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. You think I fear you? Time to sleep, Rafe. You poured the ghost bean towards the Rafe. My only weakness! <laughs> it worked. That's what you get when you mess with someone you shouldn't have engaged. Uh oh. What's going on here? Nothing big. That was an annoying Rafe. But I've dealt with it. Rafe? There was a white gown, horsetail hair, and... How dare you? No, no way. Give it back. Uh-oh. Give my grandma back. Ooh. That's not my fault. You asked for it. Don't think she did. Wait, it's you who locked me in the room and killed the cat in the basement, right? I mean, I've seen it through and with, but it's not me. <laughs> Good riddance. The wolf left alone in the silence at the midnight. The house and the force of nothing in the fire. No one knows whatever happened here. And Lone Wolf. Okay, now you are really fast. So, I'm gonna hopefully kite you around these chairs and not die in the process. God, you're really fast. Never mind. Dang it. Oh, God, I just dead ended myself. Damn you, plants. Okay. Dang you, furniture. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. It doesn't work! It's the only room I can think of! You locked the door. Ooh, ooh. I would be safe for a while. I should have run towards the gate. Why did I return here? Marcia. The death of Grace turned her into that. I have no idea what she's thinking. Grace is still worrying about her. What? Uh-oh. Dang it, I forgot. She could just go around. Okay, before I go to the next line of dialogue, let me think. Hop back over the, the table, run for a life, and never stop running and just burn down the house. That's our plan. Well... 
You locked the door swiftly. That's terrifying. I must block the door to consulting room now. Uh, I can use it. It should buy me some time. Hoo hee. Hey, I thought you were, like moved on. What's happening? I can't see her, but did Marcia? Oh yeah, I know. She just tried to murder me. She, she was successful about ten times, but you know, she just went mad. How come? I thought she was super strong-minded. I suppose you will be fine in days. Though my existence itself has told the severity. Damn. What should I do? She's trying her best to kill me. As I think? I'm assuming you mean like, let me think. Let's check her room. Maybe we can find some clues how she broke down here. Marcia's room. Her room is locked. I'm not sure. But there ought to be a false key in the utility room. The utility room? The room inside the room of the mushrooms. There's a digit lock by the door. Sorry, I forgot the password. The room of mushrooms. That would kill me. How come you forgot the password? For my unstability, I don't keep much of my memory. I locked one don't want to recall in the utility room. No wonder I won't tend to it often. Just explain what we should do. Uh, let me think. Take a copper plate from the lab, then lit some tobacco by the stairs on the first floor. Aw, oh, you should really forget about your addiction right now. You mistook it? I ever found I can go where it's covered by that smoke? That one was rough. That was a rough line. I, I know what it meant, but... That's why I was trapped in this floor these days. So I need you to make some smoke on the first floor. Sounds reasonable. Okay, I'll give it a try. Your ghost can only go where there's smoke. However that works. Just need a copper plate. Where do you keep your copper plates? There we go. I guess it's the copper plate then. Brass light? What else she's doing in there? Maybe we should just let her out. That'd be a smart idea, right? Of course it would. Marcy appears you'll disappear again? Why? It's kind of analogous to the Omnic Corrective E by the Spirit to deal with possible logical conflicts? What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well then, I will be quick. This place will be fine. Brass light. Then you need to light the tobacco. I like, for the most part, most of this devs games. They really do need, like, a, a dedicated translator or editor, though. Editor, really. I mean, the translation itself is fine. You always need an editor. It's done. It works as expected. Thank you, wolf child. You're scary as always, Aunt. Firstly, let's enter my room. For the door of a ton of tentacles? Oh, yes. You're getting smart. <laughs> Maybe Aunt can tame them, if you know what I mean. That one is always tamed, but only by me. Oh my, let me appease this kid. As expected, this kid could not see me. That's really shocking, Aunt. When you paid through. Kavina, as you may say, huh? I can't you go for the wall into the room. It doesn't make any sense, though, as I cannot touch anything. Wow, that's really inconvenient. So what to do, burn it? You want to burn such a cute kid? As well as my house? Yes, I do. How did you know? By the way, this kid won't be burnt. It's my masterpiece to guard my room. Medicines are useless, too. So you really like to pet troublesome ones. It's probably be like you really like troublesome pets. Well, the kid is very docile. 
He likes music and will be in peace when heard when he hears a gentle song. I'm gonna try to correct the English as I go. A little bit. It's not easy though. Sounds a little too fantastic. But music is worth a try. An old gramophone. There's records on the shelf. There's so many of them. Which to take? Sleeping Beauty Pop on Sonata K1. Sleeping Beauty? It's just the title screen music. Ah, uh, Plants moving very slowly. That's much more gentle. Of course, it's her favorite piece. Why didn't you tell me directly? Don't be so loud, you won't disturb them. You can take the record into the room now. How about just leave it there? Marcy is still unstable. I don't want her to notice us. That makes sense. Plants of the door fell asleep. I'll take the record back. Oh, I gotta put it back too? Pretty finicky, aren't you? Gotta put my stuff back, I may be dead, but it's gotta be organized. I'm finally able to get closer. So here's Aunt's room. It's really, really messy. I just keep up with a method to cause cardiac paralysis. Just kidding. I really like the aunt. I think she's a pretty chill character. Ah, <laughs> you again, strange mushroom. Hmm? A snail shroom. It seems Anne likes you. That's rare. Is that so? There's some books dropped on the floor. I'm surprised that there's comic books as well. And manga! We all need some relaxation sometime. There's a group thrown on the frame. Wait a minute, where's your bunny? Oh no, I see the bunny ears. This photo. Oh, that was taken days after I picked up Marcia. Mm-hmm. You adopted her. I mean, they aren't the same animal. Yeah. She was only three or four years old by that time, I guess. I found her being unconscious in a destroyed village near the battlefield. This is a battlefield? I wouldn't have noticed her if she didn't catch me for a little hand in, un in her unconsciousness, calling me grandma continuously. She touched somewhere soft in my heart. So I took her out secretly, and I had a granddaughter, though, being a virgin. Thanks for that detail. I thought I'll never have a child. It turned out that you experienced the war as well. Have you? I made up my own way on the battlefield. Alive. That's really positive of you. I just remembered. The gas masks are placed in the glass cabinet over there. You'll be able to stay in the room of the mushrooms for as long as you want with one of these. Oh, that's really useful. Yeah, I'll wave my save point. So where is your glass cabinet? This is not a glass cabinet, that's a wardrobe. You dare open my wardrobe in front of my face. Here it is. Wow, I've never seen a cabinet like this. I was asked to keep my own cabinet super tidy while I was in the institution. That sounds to be a hard time. And is this a glass cabinet? Maybe not the right one. Old newspaper on the floor. 
What's a newspaper for? I use it to pad up my chair. Why didn't you pick something better? Not this one. There's only one glass cabinet. You told me to check one, right? What's inside? Hmm, something R18 or R24, so you better not open it. This is where they keep the good dojins. Seriously? Just kidding. Where are you? Books and papers scare him on the floor. Oh, and you really like to throw things everywhere. I kept an order in chaos, you just didn't notice it. Many medical books you don't understand. You get a lot of books in here. Not that lot when you actually need one. A book is known in time of need. I hope I will never need them. Many medical books. Special documents you don't understand. I haven't finished that research report yet. <laughs> Screw it. No one can constrain me now, especially my troubling pursuits. So untrammeled. I've never really heard anyone use that word very often. <laughs> Tower dolls, a rusty scissor, and broken fairy tales. That's awkward. You like to keep old fangs, aunt? How embarrassing. You may ignore them. Looks piled like a wall? Here we go. There are many objects you don't know about in the glass cabinet. Aunt, are these surgical masks exactly the gas, gas mask you preferred? What, you don't trust them? They're made from special lightweight materials, ready to use and one time disposable. Just need a dust mask, that's all. It's painful to have the poisonous gas in your eyes. I ever experienced it. I got, I'm not sure what they're trying to say with that one. Come on, relax. The mushrooms in my basement are gentle in some ways. They do little harm to your eyes. I'll believe in you, in you only once more. Okay, we're out of here. 